Ramu Rodrigo from Money with TFS. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm going to give you four simple steps how to buy your first home. Let's get on to it. Step number one, save a deposit. It's very simple. You just need to have either 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, much as you can. But remember, minimum deposit you require is 5%. So you save that, you're ready to go. Step number two, get a pre-approval. Go and speak to your banker, go and speak to a mortgage broker, finance advisor, get a pre-approval. It's very simple. You need to get your income documents, you need to give your savings, statements for at least for three months, you need to give your liabilities, whatever the liabilities you have, get that pre-approval in your hand. Very important. Now remember, there are certain pre-approvals may not gonna help you, which is just a pre-approval that you will get from the desktop, from a banker or from a mortgage broker. That won't actually help you. Make sure you speak to your mortgage broker or your finance advisor and get a proper pre-approval, which means the bank that you're gonna go with will assess you with your income, with your liabilities, and, you, and they will also look at your credit score as well and your credit report. They will give you a proper approval subject to certain conditions. Now, your conditions can be providing the acceptable security, which is the property that you're gonna be buying, subject to valuation, subject to giving another pay slip at the time of the unconditional approval. So, make sure you get the pre-approval. That's one of the key part. Step number three, do the research on the property you want to buy. Very important. Now remember, you got your pre-approval already in your pocket. Congratulations on that. One of the key things is, one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people do in this market is just as soon as they get the pre-approval, they quickly go and buy whatever the property they think they buy. They have the fear of loss. Now don't get onto that. Do your research, know what you want to buy, have a look at what sort of properties, what sort of prices those properties were sold in the last two, three, four months back. That's exactly what your valuer or the bank's valuer is gonna be looking at as well to make sure that you are pay paying the right price. So go to some inspections, have a look at those properties, ask many questions you want from the real estate agents who are selling that property. Get that information for you to make the right decision. Do some research, get on to realestate.com.au, domain.com.au, get on to those portals and have a look at what sort of properties have sold in the last two, three months time. Have a look at the trend, have a look at the how, what was the price point of a three bedder versus a four bedder. Have a look at the sizes of those land versus, versus what sort of features and, and fixtures that those properties have been, have, was sold, had had. So, Make sure you do your research right. Be ready for the property that you want to buy. Let's get into the step number four. Here we go. Step number four. The crucial one, or I would say the most exciting part, making an offer for the property that you really like. Remember, you got your deposit sorted. You got your pre-approval sorted. You've done enough research. You know exactly what you want to buy. You know what's the property price that you want to give. Make that offer and make sure you make a strong offer. Now, what is a strong offer? You could ask me. A strong offer is using your pre-approval, the conditions that the bank has given you. Use those conditions as the conditions you want to put to your offer. Now, if you have given, if you have given a approval subject to the valuation of the property, subject to giving the contract of sale of the property, by all means, Go for it. Say, you know what, Mr. Real Estate Agent, I like to buy this property. I'm going to pay you this amount of money subject to valuation. You happy? Go for it. Now, that's how you make a good offer on a property that you really like. Now, work with your real estate agents who are selling that property because that person can actually help you to make a strong offer too. So, guys, remember the four steps I gave you? Save your deposit, 5% or much as you can. Get a pre-approval. Make sure it's a proper pre-approval. 
do the research on the property you want to buy and make that offer congratulations you just bought your first store all right guys thank you for your time until next time please subscribe to our channel and if you like this video give give a thumbs up to it all right fellas take care